But before that, let's just have a quick word with Jaxie from Wexford. Jaxie, good morning. How are you today? I'm not too bad at all, Tom and yourself. I'm very well indeed. You are from a place called Taman. That's right. I thought you introduced me there a minute ago when you were talking about six packs and yolks. I thought it was me. You thought possible. that's me. You thought I was describing your body. I did. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I jumped the gun a little. Is that part of the joy of eating potatoes? Is Only it? Wexford potatoes. Wexford man. potatoes give you a flat belly. Yeah. I'll tell you, man. <laughs> you need to get into marketing as quickly as you can. <laughs> I can see it now. Big, huge posters down in Ross Lair Harbour of, of uh, Wexford potatoes. And beside them, there's a man with flat bed. That's it, yeah. <laughs> but Timon, I, I, Timon has been a place that's uh, been in, in my uh, heart, I suppose, really, with the words to describe it. Because um, my very first girlfriend back in the Gwail Talk, Michelle Malloy, was from Timon. Really? There you go now. Do you know the Malloys at all? Are they still around there? I somewhere? probably do, yeah. There you go. No. I can't help but when I drive through the area, you wonder, they're around here somewhere. They're around here somewhere. Yeah. But listen, what is it you were going to tell me about? Well, no, we just have an old spud tasting competition here. We have it for the last three years. Really? And um, what happened was there was a few lads who came in here one night and they were after sawing their spuds. And one lad's spud was trying to be better than the other. Yeah. So I said, bring them in and we'll cook them and we'll taste them. Right. Just say, now the cooking facilities here wouldn't be great. We'd have to cook them in the kettle. Right, that's and it wouldn't be good In the kettle? Yeah, well, that was before we got, we got say, hope like. Right. So we said we'd ring... I, I, I said we'd bring him in and taste him like, and see who'd have the best bud. Yeah. And then I went home that night and I, I got this brainwave. Got to have had someone really good to come down to judge him like <laughs> we could make it. Oh, make yes. It, you see? Yes. So we got him, we, we, we made up this, we got a big pot off of the Stanville down there, a massive big saucepan. Yeah. And we made up this thing and we, everyone cooks, puts in their spud. Right. The spud is numbered, named, boiled on the, on the side here and um, right. brought in and tasted. Okay. And whoever wins then, the first prize is a, a top of the range knapsack. <laughs> the second prize is a sprung. And the third prize is usually a silver galvanized bucket. Beautiful. You know, um, a sprung. <laughs> yeah. I'll just bring you back to that. The, the sprung. Uh, what is the sprung again? It's a four pike thing with a long handle with four pikes and for digging out the spuds. Exactly. I just the, I saw a thing on the weekend for if you wanted to avoid having a bikini line, it was like a little kind of a, a bent spoon that the lady would just kind of fold up in her nether regions yeah, and then so there'd be no lines. Have, no, I just, when you said sprong, I thought you might, that might be a sprong because no, I have to say, I don't know what it's called but I would like to call it a sprong. This sounds. would be a dangerous joke to have near your bikini line down there. <laughs> Right. You don't want that. No. You don't want something that's used for digging out potatoes anywhere near the bikini line. No, you do not. No, definitely not. Right. No. Okay, that's it. I have to say, I'd, I'd fancy the second prize there. That's the one I'd want to win. So yeah. have you done this yet, Jackie? Yeah, we've done it two years there now, the last two years. Yeah. And uh, we're, we haven't got the, the judge this year yet now, but as soon as we do, I'll let you know. All right. Uh, <laughs> okay. We're supposed to be confirmed in the last few days, but... And is there that big a difference now, even within Wexford, within the Wexford spud? Oh, yeah, there would be awful difference in texture yeah. and taste and, you know, and dry matter and stuff like that. Yeah, it? dry matter. I am. I only yeah, found out yesterday... It doesn't matter about the size of the spud either. Like ah, no, no. It's all about the... You know. I only found out yesterday what the soapy thing meant. That means that it, that it cuts like a piece of soap. Oh, yeah, you could stays, shave in it. Yeah, it stays yeah. together and you want them flowery. Oh, you do, yeah. So what is the best Wexford potato? Where, where would I go for the best Wexford potato? Uh, I, reckon, I reckon the Sharps Express now, Tom, would be the best. Now, a lot of lads will go for the Queen, but the Sharps Express would be early. Right. For a good spud. And you get him around to Mon, definitely to Mon area would be the best. How do you know you're getting a Sharps Express? Uh, you know it be the colour of it, sir. And the right. skin on it. Right. doesn't no, call I itself. I do like the Wexford spuds. I love the Wexford spuds. Well, you may come down and judge it with us then. But I'm only getting to realise that there's more to the Wexford spud than meets the eye. Well, if you come down here that night and you'll you'd be guaranteed to feed the spuds uh, <laughs> and we're, we're, we're cooking a pig on the spit as well, so you'll be... Right. You'll be guaranteed that. Oh, I tell you, if we can't go to you, is there any chance you might come to us? Well, well definitely. We're, <laughs> we're mobile. <laughs> Why why a potato tasting competition could be on the radio? I can't see any reason against it. I don't see it, see. no. You know? We look into this further. I, I'm very intrigued by the Sharps Express. Yeah. Um, I have to try them. They're lovely good. I'll tell you. And they're, they're the first dairies as well. They're the first when would you get them? Oh, the end of May, first of June. Excellent. If you had the, if you had the right type of soil. Right. No, which I would have like around Actually, this area. Naturally, you would. Around um, here, you I know. wouldn't expect yeah. <laughs> anything else. <laughs> well, listen, Jaxi, <laughs> lovely talking to you this morning. And you too. And, and I was just saying the president is coming to Timon today. Really? Yes, she is. And if she's listening to news talk on the way down, she's more than welcome for an old drink. Well, a and, 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 a, Sam or whatever she and a Sharps Express. 
and a Sharks Express. Right. We would have no pigs on the spit today now. That's, that's what still okay. Who but you're more than welcome down to the night, all right? All right, you're very kind. Thanks very much, Jackson. No, Love to talk to you this morning. Thanks bye for bye. joining us there. I'll tell you, I'm, I'm, I'm going to become one of the world's leading experts on the Wexford potato before this is too late. And I've been pronouncing to mom uh, incorrectly for my entire life. Uh, to mom. I'm never going to pronounce that right. Right.